गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट रिमोट सेंसिंग फॉर सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो बिफोर एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस टॉपिक आई विल सिंप्लीफाई इट इन एन इजी वे दैट इज व्हाट इज रिमोट सेंसिंग एक्चुअली सो फ्रॉम द नेम इटसेल्फ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट इज sensing something from a remote region sensing something from a remote region suppose you want to take a picture from sky so you can use a drone right drone you can use drone a drone is fitted with camera so you have its remote control in your hand right you have the remote control in your hand now you are controlling the remote and drone will take the picture from sky so this is the thing that means you are not reaching to the place yourself you are controlling a camera which takes picture for you then later you analyze those pictures this is called remote sensing so what is remote sensing now let's define so remote sensing is a technology which gathers information and analyzes an object or phenomena without making any physical contact this technology is used in uh, numerous fields like uh, ecology geography geology glaciology oceanography hydrology etc some basic elements for remote sensing so what are some basic elements for the remote sensing so first is a platform to hold the instrument and then an object which would be analyzed and then an instrument to analyze the object let's say something about the history of remote sensing so remote sensing technology of modern era began with the invention of camera during 1840s the idea of taking arts images was established at that time people used to fix cameras with balloons to capture photographs later cameras were fixed with aeroplanes for the purpose of capturing pictures of land from air then it came satellite which was used to capture the images of earth surface in 1950s miss evelyn pruitt of the us office of naval research used the term remote sensing for the first time so basically how does it work let's see how does it work suppose you are willing to take an information of a part of earth from sky so earth suppose this is the earth so earth reflects uh, some energy that we know right it is actually electromagnetic energy it is electromagnetic energy now a remote sensing system will have a detector which will detect this energy next is the sensor uh, so the sensor will convert the energy into the voltage form 
so energy will be converted into the voltage form and we will get a value we will get a value from here which is just a digital number the value is displayed which is analyzed by the skilled technician so the value is displayed first and it would be analyzed by the technicians who are working in the processing station then based on the values scientists find some applications so in this way remote sensing actually works now what is sustainable development so sustainable development is a development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs so what does that mean actually now anything which is permanent anything which is permanent is called sustainable so we can develop something for our country or world which is beneficial for our future generation and for us too so we can use remote sensing for this purpose remote sensing is used for sustainable development in many ways so it is used to gather information on natural resources which is analyzed thoroughly for planning and decision making it is wisely planned how natural resources should be managed autonomous farming is a technique which uses machines like the remote sensing machine for seeding crop sensing then harvesting weeding and other follow up operations let's say the example of remote sensing for sustainable development in india so in 2012 indian government established Mahalanavish National Crop Forecast Center (NCFC) in New Delhi. The center predicts the output of crop and assesses the drought situation in the country through remote sensing. And uh, this MNCFC also predicts in season forecasts for major crops such as rice, wheat, maize, and sugarcane, etc. so this is all about today's topic